Nursing homes have been hit the hardest by the coronavirus locally, representing 75% of Rhode Island's deaths. At Orchard View Manor in East Providence, there have been at least 27 reported deaths, and today a display of solidarity and support for those living and working there. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us with the story behind this emotional moment new tonight. First responders, city officials, and family members all participated in the procession. A man I spoke to say it's the least he could do after a certified nursing assistant held his mother's hand last week as she passed away. Brian Silva is one of the dozens of people who drove by the nine nursing homes in East Providence Sunday afternoon. The first stop, Orchard View Manor, where his mother was a resident. He tells me the 91-year-old died from COVID-19 Wednesday. Everybody knows her as mom, a big dot. She has 11 children, 28 grandchildren. I think it's nine great grandchildren. She was just, you know, the neighborhood mom type thing. Everybody knew her. The city of East Providence organized what they called the solemn procession to honor those who have died from coronavirus and to support nursing home residents and health care workers. Mayor Bob De Silva tells me everyone is going through a difficult time, but how the community reacts is important. All of us need, need something to uh, look on a bright side of, right? And I think the bright side of this whole thing is the tightness of this community. East Providence have come together in so many different ways to help the people who are suffering the most. But it also gives me hope that the future is just going to be brighter. Silva made multiple signs to display on his truck to show support to nursing home residents and staff. He says the staff is dealing with a lot and wanted to specifically thank Heather and Pat. This particular lady came in on her day off because she was so attached to my mother and she sat from 10 o'clock in the morning until 2.05 when my mother died, holding my mother's hand. And she says, all your mother did is took a nice deep breath and one tear came down her eye. This girl had to do this already 15 times in a two-week period. You've got to be really grateful for these. These people are special people. And Silva says, unfortunately, planning the funeral for his mother hasn't been easy due to social distancing. He says his mother had 11 children and family will likely need to rotate in and out during the funeral to abide by the five-person order. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.